Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of The Sims 4 Disney Princess Challenge. So, today's episode, we're going to be focusing on our Disney princess here, Cinderella, the Gordon Ramsay of the family. My goodness. Have you ever thought of joining the circus? She's very close to becoming a master, which is a good thing. We need to make that ambrosia recipe for her big brother, Mickey, as soon as possible. But that's not the main goal for today. No, what we're focusing on today is finding love. Yes, that's right. We are going to get Cinderella out of her comfort zone and find a man to continue the Disney legacy. Of course, we're not gonna get right away with the baby making when Snow White is still alive, but she can get started in getting to know her prince. She's actually spoiled for choice. Not only did I create one Disney prince, I created two Disney princes, so she gets to choose which one she wants to be with. You're a very, very lucky girl, Cinderella. These two princes are very different from each other, but they both have very fine qualities that match Cinderella's taste. Either of these men are perfect for Cinderella. I've decided to arrange a little challenge. Uh, let's call it the Disney Princess Bachelorette Challenge. I am getting the two princes to take part in three challenges. Three challenges for each day, and whoever wins the challenge gets to go on a solo date with Cinderella. And by the end of the show, which would last for around four days, so getting to the end of spring, whichever prince has the highest friendship and romantic level with Cinderella becomes Cinderella's husband. The first thing we're going to do is actually pay a visit to the princes. Get to know them a little. How are you feeling? She's feeling very good today. This might be slightly out of her comfort zone, but she is 100% ready for this. So why don't you go to the mirror and just um, prep yourself up a little. You know, you're meeting some very fine eligible bachelors, so you've got to look ravishing, darling. So the princes live in the city, in a squat little apartment that happens to have a quake zone. Who knows, we might encounter an earthquake in this episode. So here we are at the apartment. Let's go up to the door. Hey, and the first thing we see is one of the contestants. Why don't we go up to him and say hi? Oh, we could do polite introduction. This is contestant number one, Kit Prince. So he's named after Prince Charming from the live action Cinderella movie. He doesn't look anything like that prince. Maybe except for his hair. His hair looks kind of similar. So he's custom made and he doesn't look like a prince at all, especially with his tattoos and his arm. Very much a city boy, but he has the personality of a prince. He's very sweet, he's very romantic, and best of all, he happens to be a chef as well. So he and Cinderella have a lot in common. Will they form a bond over their common interests? That's amazing. I didn't know it works that way. So Cinderella's power of fine manners has actually boosted him up. I did not know you had that in you, Cinderella. And Cinderella's like, excuse me for a moment. I believe there is a second prince in here. Oh, there he is. And this is contestant number two. None other than the classic Prince Charming from the animated Cinderella movie. He's actually called Henry, by the way. Even though it's not mentioned in the movie, I found out online that his name is Henry. He's had a very high class upbringing. He is the actual definition of charming. He makes every kind of woman swoon for him. Will Cinderella fall for his heavenly charms and his swanky attire? I will start off the Bachelorette show by letting Cinderella go at her own pace. I'll give her time to adjust her surroundings. Just get to know them naturally without me forcing anything. So the first thing she does is sit down and switch channels to the cooking channel. Even though she's a guest, she just walks right in and is like, Oh no, 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 this won't do. We're not watching Jimmy Fallon. Let's watch the Great British Bake Off. She's feeling so good. She's like, oh, I am so lucky today. I'm surrounded by really sexy men. First, we're going to do a polite introduction to Henry. We might as well. She has to know his name, of course. So you must be Henry. Charmed to meet you. <laughs> so, so. Good, they're on the same level. Oh, actually, Kit isn't a bit in the lead because they had a bit of a chat. The rule is in The Bachelorette show, she's not allowed to do any romantic interactions unless her whims tell her to. And at the moment, this is the perfect opportunity to be flirty. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by the toe. 
if don't catch me any mini money mo. Alright, Henry, you are the first victim of her seduction. <laughs> oh, Kit seems to like it. Oh, now I get it. She and Kit are friends now. That is so quick. In a matter of like minutes, they've become fast friends. All three of them are forced to watch a romantic show. Ah, Cinderella's lost her flirtiness, but I think you'll get her back when you watch the channel. We should go on a group date. We should just get to know each other a bit more, doing more fun things than just watching a romantic show. Are you excited, people? You guys are going on your first group date. Why don't you first do a duet, actually? That'd be fun. So first, let's do a jazz duet with Henry. Okay, Kit, you're gonna come and join? Just, or watch, rather? Oh. Wow, that is embarrassing. I thought you practiced. You sound terrible. You sound drunk. <laughs> Henry's just as bad. Oh my god. Well, at least they're having a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, they sound so bad. Oh my goodness. It's the genie. Will Smith genie is watching. <laughs> He's cheering in the crowd. That is hilarious. I was hoping to see the Will Smith genie at some point. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Who's that? Darth Vader! <laughs> He's walking naked in this mask, that's hilarious. Right, your turn, Kit. You're gonna sing a ballad with Cinderella. Oh no, Cinderella's still bad. Are you doing this on purpose, actually? Because I know for a fact you did practice a lot. Maybe it's because she realizes that the boys are really bad at singing, so- Oh! Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> Everyone's enjoying it. Henry's boogieing away to it, even though the voices are absolutely terrible. <laughs> this guy's just like, yeah, you're the best! This is giving me high school musical memories. Oh, the chemistry that's coming out of them both. How Henry's just randomly dancing. Okay, she's a little bit stressed out now. There's just too many people, and it is pressure, I know. Uh, guys, don't go away, please. No! I did not ask them to leave. They just walked off. That is not on. Okay, so we've returned home, and I think the first thing we'll do after she has her shower is organize a party and bring the princes over. We should do it in the form of a birthday party. Oh, it just so happens to be Drizella's birthday today. So, I've arranged a party at the Vaughn Haunt estate instead of the house because I don't want Cinderella dealing too much with the dirtiness of the house. She just gets very, very neurotic over the filthiness of the house. So, let someone else worry about that. Oh, Henry! Looking so charming today. Okay, where is Kit? Here, yeah, kitty, 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 where are you? Oh, did Henry just disappear? Why are all these men disappearing? Kit, Henry, get over here. Are you too intimidated by meeting my family? There's nothing wrong with my family. My mom and dad are great. Oh, there they are. Okay, Kit has gone straight to Alice and Anastasia. Which is a good thing, actually, because I want the princes to actually get to know the family members a bit. And whichever one of the princes actually has a better relationship with the siblings gets a big advantage. Oh, Henry's gone straight to Cinderella. Snow White's watching them. He's like, ooh, isn't he a dream boy? Okay, now Henry's talking with Snow White. What is up with all this uncooked food lying about in the estate? Why are they in the toilet, even? Right, where are the boys? Did they disappear again? And Clarabelle's like, say, where are those two guys that you hang out with lately? Cinderella's like, hmm, I don't know. They keep running away from me. Ugh. Oh. Both of them are sleeping, so they don't want to go. Great. The point of the party was to get to know them a bit more and have them be introduced to the family. Well, I might as well finish it off with a celebration. Go on, Drizella. The traits I listed for Drizella are gloomy, perfectionist, bookworm, snob, or self-absorbed. Pick a number from one to five. 
Three. Okay, she's a bookworm. That kind of goes well with her genius trait. Yay, our little whiz kid is now a grown up. She can move into the city anytime soon. But first, why don't you look for a job? There's quite a few good choices, actually. She could be a scientist, or a businesswoman, or a politician, or a secret agent. Oh, let's Google which one. One. Cool, she's gonna be a scientist. Oh, I know exactly how you feel, Cinderella. It is very exhausting meeting new people, especially two very handsome guys. That was not a bad start to the challenge. You got along with the princes very well. You would expect them to be up for partying, but he just decided to walk out very early. The next morning. Ding dong! It's 9am, it's time to wake up. You gotta get dressed, you gotta perk yourself up. So, we're in control of the two princes. Oh, they're not so used to the quake zone in their apartment. Henry's thinking, I wish I was back in my big mansion where there are no such thing as earthquakes. All right, both of you need to get out. You need to meet Cinderella at the location of the first challenge. So here we are at the park. What are we doing in the park then? Well, they are going to take part in the first challenge, which involves a hobby that Cinderella has recently taken and has very much enjoyed. Yes, that's right, we are going fishing. The aim of this challenge is that both the princes have to catch the biggest fish. They must only catch one fish. When they do catch it, they have to stop fishing. And then we decide the winner based on the weight of the fish. Whoever gets the heaviest wins the challenge and wins a solo date with Cinderella. If they happen to catch a rare fish, they are automatically a winner. Because I do not expect these two princes who are level one in fishing to catch a rare or even uncommon fish. This is not a race to see who catches the fish first, it's more who catches the best fish. We've got three different types of moods. We've got the most happiest of moods, she's doing a hobby she really likes, that she's really good at, and she is fishing with two very handsome men. Kit is also really happy. This is a hobby that he's never tried before, but he's very willing to try it. And Henry's just a little bit tense, he's not used to that kind of thing at all. <gasps> Kit! You already caught your first fish! He caught a minnow. Well done, Kit. You can do whatever you want now because you've caught your first fish. <gasps> Henry! Oh my god! He caught a discus and it's an uncommon fish. Congratulations, Henry. You've won the first challenge, which means you get to go on your first date with Cinderella. Cinderella, you must be super impressed. We need to flirt with you in order to get the dating option. <laughs> and she actually wants to go on a date as well. Okay, so where should we go on a first date? Let's go to the place where Snow White and Florian had their first date. Why don't we set a fire and get nice and warm and comfy? Oh, Snow White out of all people! She's come over to the ruins. You're not being a helicopter mum, are you? You're not watching Cinderella's every move, are you? Ask about career, which I doubt would be any kind of occupation. My occupation's a prince. That's my only career. <laughs> right, so the aim is to get to gold level, but I can't do any flirty interactions unless the whims tell me to. They're doing the fire dance as well. Oh, she's very hungry though. Ah, uh, it's a shame we can't move. We can't go to a restaurant. We have to stay put. You're not gonna sit? Please, sit down, Henry. I've warmed your seat up for you, please. Please, I've warmed up this suit as well. No? Oh, now they're good friends, yay. Yay, they're up to silver. Unfortunately, the only thing they should do is flirt, but... She's no way in a flirty mood. She just wants to be a comedian all day. Oh, what happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing, Cinderella? She's just like running in circles. No. Oh, no. Florian has passed away. No. The weird thing is that she's so giddy that she's in denial. <laughs> she hasn't really processed it. Look at her. She's like... Ah, uh, that must be a mistake. It must be someone else's dad. 
Okay, so they had a nice decent date. I mean, it wasn't romantic in any way, it was just a lot of banter. How are you feeling now? I think she's still okay. Cinderella's back home, back to a very miserable household. Drizella, why don't you split from the household? Living in the city is quite expensive, so maybe she should move in with another housemate. What the hell? Who is this man? We've got a random cat man living in this city. Okay, I've decided that Drizella will move in with this woman here, Samaria, because she's a young single woman like Drizella, and therefore she wouldn't be much trouble. Oh, we arrived at the apartment still in pajamas. This is such a nice apartment. This is nicer than I would ever expect. Oh, and it so happens that we are right next door to the princes. Oh, how convenient. So, Drizella, I'm not going to miss you either, but I do hope that you become successful in the future because you have potential. You are the smartest out of the Disney children, and I know you will go far in life. So I wish you the best of luck, and farewell. Okay, so the news has hit her hard now, and she's grieving. Which is not good at all, because that's definitely going to put her off carrying on with the Bachelorette show. Like, she'll be in no mood to flirt if she's mourning. So, I'm going to give her time to mentally prepare herself. We need to carry on with the show. The show must go on. And I'm gonna do everything I can to almost get rid of her grief. And the only way we could do that is to do some pep talk in front of the mirror. It does take out several hours from the moodlet. I know you are very, very exhausted, Cinderella. You've had a long day, but I want you to give yourself pep talk as much as possible. It's annoying that we can't see the number of hours but eventually it will go down. She's like, come on, dad would want me to move on and have a happy life. It's working, it's actually working. <laughs> there you go. So with some pep talk and a little bit of cry in bed, she is now down to seven hours. And then by the time she wakes up, she'll be absolutely fine. The next morning. Ding dong! It's 9am, it's a new day! And uh, how many hours do you have? You have two hours left. Ugh, that's not good. Give yourself a little pep talk. So, on our third day, the princes are going to take part in their second challenge. That will take place indoors actually, right here. Well, at least she's gone over her grief. It's like magic, literally. Mickey, I got a job for you to do. You've already broken one piece of furniture. Why don't you break every single one of them? Just break them with your ghost powers. I don't know if you have fun with it. Do you have fun with it? No, it doesn't seem to entertain you that much. That's the kind of thing I'm supposed to do. I'm just built to break things. I can't seem to destroy this sink, nor this cooker. That's okay. All these things are broken. All the showers, the toilets, and sinks. Oh, sorry, Cinderella. Oh, no. Well, that would be the last time you use the toilet, Cinderella. Because now it's bro- Oh, you actually broke it yourself. <laughs> Who would have thought? Mickey has let out all his misery and grief after the death of his father by breaking all the items. He's like, oh, can't be bothered to fix all these things. I'm not in the mood. I am going off. Bye-bye. Right, so Cinderella is stuck with broken furniture. She doesn't know what to do. The first thing that she's got in mind is to call the princes over. Hey, Mickey's out and he can't fix all these items. You guys are manly men. You know how to fix things, don't you? Okay, listen up, guys. You came here expecting some more romantic stuff with Cinderella over here. But unfortunately, you've been tasked to fix all these items in the house. Whoever fixes the most appliances the quickest wins a date with Cinderella. It's three, two, one, go. Ah, who would have thought that guests are allowed to fix items, but they're not allowed to cook in someone else's house? Sometimes I don't understand the logic of Sims 4. At least Cinderella gets to have free service. No, Donald! Sorry guys, no electrocution today. Oh. 
Kit is still feeling good, like he's still in a very flirty mood. Henry is most definitely not comfortable with this. He's not used to manual labor. It's like, ugh, I let my servants do this kind of work. Why am I given this job? Especially the toilet, ugh, disgusting. How many people use this toilet without cleaning it? They're pretty even, actually. We just have one sink left. Who's going to reach the sink in time? Oh my god, Mickey! You're just causing more trouble! <laughs> now I have to go downstairs. Alright, Henry has got the sink. So come on, Kit. you got downstairs to fix. <laughs> Cinderella's just not happy with the mess. Oh, Mickey is such a nuisance. Well done, guys. The challenge is complete. So the winner of today's challenge is... Henry! Congratulations, Henry! You get to go on another date with Cinderella! Mickey, can you stop breaking things? You don't need to do that anymore. Okay, here we are at the Tudor Tavern and oh my, Cinderella, you're looking so elegant today. <laughs> Henry's just randomly enjoying the rain. <laughs> How cute. Oh wow, Henry! You're looking dapper today! Oh, they look like an official royal couple. It's so cute. Yeah, why not? We'll trust the chef. Get the best wine possible. Uh, I remember that being a bit weird, so maybe not. Let's go for Trout Meunier. Very French, very high class, very posh. We'll get both of them to have that. Oh my god, it's so expensive. 76 simoleons. Not used to that. But this is The Bachelorette show, it only happens once in a lifetime. Would blowing a kiss count, actually? Let's try. If it doesn't match with the wind, then I'm- I'm sorry. I kind of broke the rule a bit. Oh, very nice. Looks so fancy. Uh, unfortunately it wasn't. Uh, I kind of broke the rule a bit. That's the last time, okay? I won't do that again. You expect me to believe that? How are you enjoying the wine and the food? Oh no, the trout turns out to be poor. <laughs> oh, so unfortunate. And it's not made by Bruce Banner. It's made by someone who's probably taught by Bruce Banner. <gasps> oh my god, Henry! He's finally flirting with her! Oh, the prince is just too proud to eat such disgusting food. Cinderella's just been polite. Oh no, she's needing the loo. <laughs> It didn't go down very well. Oh, look at you, so beautiful, Cinderella. Yes, show off your curves. She's in a flirty mood, yes. So you can finally flirt with him. Now she wants to kiss him. You can't kiss him at the moment because you haven't reached that point. Hey, their date's finished and it was very nice. Oh, she's now feeling not too good. You'll feel a lot better when you step outside and have some fresh air. Oh, I wish there was such an interaction as doing a slow dance. I think they had that in Sims 3. You can do a slow dance, which is very romantic, but they don't have that option, unfortunately. Oh! <laughs> that is so random! <laughs> the waiter's dying in the restaurant! Oh no, everyone's witnessing this. Everyone's not too happy. Oh, and this woman is about to give birth. Oh, <laughs> that is so awkward. Oh no, Cinderella, you're sad. Why are you sad now? Oh, it's gonna last another 12 hours. Damn it, I should have taken her home before any of this happened. Is there any way you can spare his life? Nah, still no luck. Oh dear, the waiter is now permanently tied to the restaurant, which is very sad. You would want to die next to your loved ones at your own home, but no, you die in the middle of work. Just calm his emotions. You do realise that she is an amazing woman, Henry. You are lucky to find a woman like her. Oh, it's such bad luck that Cinderella, right after she has a lovely date, witnesses someone dying, and a stranger nonetheless. Like, why are you taking it so hard? God, life is so hard for Cinderella. So tomorrow is going to be the third and final challenge of The Bachelorette Show. 
this is definitely my favorite challenge for the princess so i'm gonna save it for the next episode so stay tuned people thank you for watching i hope you're enjoying it so far and i'll see you in the next episode bye, -bye for now